harmonical, a term for a word that when said causes an idea to manifest as if the idea had occurred in reality elsewhere, and the speaker has as much come to learn of the idea's occurrence as they have played a role in creating it. It's Wednesday, and we begin where I work, downtown at the bank, more specifically in the vault, a place sealed from space and from time, a good line of work, but one that requires me to live life out of chronological order. I've already had my retirement, and I would be well compensated. Alas, I did not yet know for what. It was 10 a.m. somewhere. Time to call it for the day. I had dinner on the train. I was moved recently to a new development. This was the first time I was visiting my new place, a bit farther out of town than my old one. I went for a walk on the train. Trains these days. Always felt like I walked for longer on them than the distance they traveled while I was on board. Maybe that was just lingering effects from work. My first time getting off at this stop. It wasn't hard to find where I needed to go. I knew which apartment was mine, and I found my key in my jacket pocket. In my dreams that night, I saw the face of a fox amongst the forest. The leaves blew back and forth in the wind until they came to resemble an interior space, a hybrid of my office, the train, and the forest. I felt balanced, and I awoke. The real estate agent for this living complex, who doubles as a representative from my company, met me outside the following morning. We had spoken before, and I remembered the conversation we had had the following week upon seeing them. They knew this and so remained silent and still as I walked past. Their appearance alone was sufficient to make me feel welcomed, and hearing their voice or seeing the human face I assumed they had would only add risk to their future and employment. Such was our line of work. Today was Thursday, the first of the four days of the weekend. I had a routine on Thursday that I had to follow to remain myself. I went to the gym, not strictly necessary, but a useful pastime, a harmless activity, not unenjoyable, that kept me from filling the time with more dangerous things. I had lunch. Consuming this small plate of seeds would allow me to grow the food I needed. I spent some time in the spa, and I had a reading room booked for later. The spa water was the same temperature as the metal on the outside of the vault where I worked, which was always the temperature that I'd wanted to be just moments ago. This temperature had a slowing effect on how I perceived the passage of time. If you floated on your back in the spa water and you gazed up at the soft light of the sky through the leaves, you could choose to switch amongst any time you'd floated there before. I would float again next Sunday and I chose to switch. I didn't read in the reading room. I sat silently looking out the window. I had dinner within me if I felt hungry, but they always had snacks in the reading room. I'd often eat those instead. My head was clear after the reading room, and I made my way to the co-working space to meet up with colleagues. We'd decided to meet this Sunday evening to work on something that I recall felt important when I learnt what it was. I couldn't remember the details at the moment. Perhaps my meeting on Monday would jog my memory. We had a temporary private room in the back where we worked, reviewing information that we or someone else had written down in many notebooks. Finding information this way was much better than the system we had before. You couldn't properly stumble upon things with the old system. We'd come to learn stumbling was an important part of fate. I stumbled out of bed in the morning. I would be late for my meeting, but nevertheless, the thing about work is, you're always there if you're requested. I was called into the meeting by my colleague. We both sat in the same chair, but at different times. Both of us silently staring into the waterfall. Both of us hearing the rushing water and feeling the mist on the skin of our face. The meeting wasn't any longer than usual. We were faster now. Almost without realizing it, 
we made the switch. And once again, it's Wednesday, and we begin downtown at the bank where I work. 